Well, hello everyone, uh, it's uh, David again. Um, I've got a new tool which I'd like to, to show you uh, today. Um, it's basically, a, I guess, an evolution of uh, these things. Uh, you know, we, all, uh, we all have these. Uh, you know, tweezers are a mainstay of everyone's bench. Uh, we've got them in various, uh, various sizes and formats. Um, and you know, they do a job, absolutely. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are absolutely fine. Now, the reason I've been looking around for, I guess, um, something that's more precise, more accurate, I guess, uh, is because I've been building quite a lot of um, 124 scale F1 cars. Um, and more importantly, for, for this discussion, I've been putting lots of third party uh, additions onto the engines. Um, now, these additions can be uh, you know, crazy small. Uh, we're talking spark plugs, we're talking um, less than a millimeter for a, uh, for a bolt, that kind of, or a rivet, you know, these kinds of things. And what I've been finding is that uh, you know, these standard tweezers just, just aren't good enough. Uh, you know, the tip isn't, isn't fine enough. Um, and also, um, the, I think the pressure I have to apply to, to some of the, the, the actual components to, to pick them up is too great. And I've often found just to pick them up, I've had to put a lot of pressure on there and the part just pinged off. And of course, with a part that's less than a millimetre or less than a half a millimetre, you're not going to find it, so it's gone. Um, so I thought, well, is there is there something else out there which could help me uh, you know, build these engines um, you know, more easily? And to be honest, I really didn't expect to find um, a kind of evolution of the tweezer, because the tweezer is a tweezer, isn't it? Um, but there is. Oddly enough, uh, there is uh, something out there which I think uh, you guys uh, could find uh, very, uh, very useful. Now, what I did was um, not just look at the model making um, uh, community, but I also looked at alloyed industries as well, which I often do. Um, I looked at uh, the craft market, of course. Uh, I also looked at uh, medical supplies. And um, lastly, I also looked at uh, electronics. Uh, electronics is an interesting one because they they do have a lot of things in common with us model makers, and particularly guys that build uh, electronic circuits, that kind of thing. Um, and I I came across a, a tweezer set which um, has been absolute godsend, and I'll show you I'll show you that now. This is the tweezer. Um, to all intents and purposes, it looks like any old uh, set of tweezers. Um, but when you actually start looking at this in more detail, you kind of understand why um, the engineering and why the, um, I guess the electronics industry has kind of delivered to us something which I think us model makers could use um, every every single day, um, at least I do. So let's unpack it and I'll show you what uh, we actually mean. Um, it comes, I'll say, in this, uh, in this packaging. It's got its uh, usual uh, plastic, uh, plastic end, which is absolutely essential. Now, the uh, interesting thing with this one uh, is the tip because it is absolutely tiny. Uh, I will put a full size um, breakdown of what this actually is on the on the website, but it's maybe something like 0 0.2, 0 0.1 of a millimeter. Um, you know, we're talking kind of the same size as the literally the smallest airbrush needle. Um, that's the kind of point uh, these, these go to. Um, it's a bit difficult to see on camera, but if I can kind of rotate these around with, with kind of these standard ones, you'll kind of get an idea of how small these are. Um, but what I liked was again the uh, the precision. Uh, you'll you'll hear that word a lot on these videos, uh, precision, and um, that's kind of what what I'm all about. He's looking for precision tools, you know, for us for us model makers. But as I said, these are designed for um, for the electronics industry to pick up very small uh, parts for uh, for circuit boards. But of course, for us, when you're picking up a small part like this uh, this piece of piping, they are absolutely perfect. And that piping is quite large. I mean, I'm picking up pieces that are probably uh, less than 10% of that size. But more importantly, I, I quite like the engineering. Uh, they feel great in your hand. Um, and also, they thought about how, I guess, how much that, that spring-loaded is there. Because that's the important part. As I said earlier, some of these, you have to put a lot of pressure on them to, to close them. And this one, I think they've got just right. You don't have to apply much pressure to close these tweezers. So less risk of your ping, your part pinging off. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, um, which I really liked. And I've been using these for probably a couple of weeks and they've been fantastic for assembling those, those engines. But I can easily see an application for these, for you aero guys, um, when you're building cockpits, for instance. Absolutely perfect for that, for the tiny parts that you're uh, trying to, uh, to put into to cockpit uh, detail. Because they're long as well, they're longer than the average. Um, 
and you can reach in without any problems. Um, you, you're, uh, if you're into your armor, again, if you're trying to do interiors, these are perfect for that uh, because they are longer, they sit well in the hand, and of course, it's all about the, the small tip on the end, which is um, really accurate. I, I, I can't, it's, it's difficult to kind of explain what these are like uh, unless you've seen them, but the, the accuracy they give you with parts which you can pick up is, is crazy. Um, and I found them an absolute uh, um, you know, godsend for the kind of stuff I, I do, which tends to be getting smaller and smaller. Um, I mean, if you're getting to uh, 1 to 144 scale, uh, that kind of thing, if you try to put parts together for, for that, these are perfect for that, I think. So there you go. That's that's kind of um, an evolution of the tweezer, I guess. I, I didn't expect to find these. Um, as I said, the they uh, I've been using it for a couple of couple of weeks, and um, they are fantastic to use. Um, you know, really nice. The ergonomics is is, uh, is brilliant. Um, that should be on the store as you as you watch this. Uh, so any queries, any questions, uh, do come back to me. Uh, but that's the uh, that's the new tweezer uh, from from Tyra Models. I'll speak to you soon.